Hi, and <clears throat> welcome to the Frog Pond School of Design, where we like to talk about things related to architecture in one way or another. Today's topic I'd like to call architectural fails, but not everyone would agree with me on that, so I'll just call it famous unhappy clients. Now, the architect in question is none other than Ludwig Mies van der Rohe, the uh, famous practitioner of the international style straight out of the Bauhaus. And he designed a home, uh, actually a, a weekend home, a getaway sort of place, for Dr. Edith Farnsworth. Now, Mies was famous for saying that less is more. That was his architectural uh, saying, so to speak. And Dr. Farnsworth said, well, less is less. <laughs> And she really, she said the house couldn't be lived in. Mies said, well, it wasn't designed for living, but it's a pure expression of an idea. Now, what does that mean? Well, being international style, the place was all glass. And a lot of critics at the time um, thought it was wonderful. They said it, it distilled everything down to the essence. So if, if less is more... Um, Mies was trying to look for nothing, I guess, to get everything. I don't know how that works. Anyway, uh, Dr. Farnsworth refused to pay, and so Mies sued for payment. She promptly countersued, but she lost her suit. And that's when things got interesting, because then she decided to go public, and she... Uh, bared her soul with uh, the, a real popular magazine at the time called House Beautiful. I mean, even Frank Lloyd Wright got into the act here. He said that proponents of the international style were totalitarianists and not wholesome people. Imagine that. Now, uh, there are speculation that uh, Dr. Farnsworth may have had some ulterior motives. There are rumors that there was a romantic relationship between she, between her and Mies, and maybe once the house was finished and he was out of her life, she became bitter about it or something. We'll never know the, uh, the, the truth of all that. However, we do know that the house had its problems. For one thing, it required a lot of ongoing maintenance. The, the paint wasn't staying on the steel. The steel was rusting. And here's the fun part. It attracted bugs. I mean, you got a small all-glass house and you turn the lights on at night in the summer and it's like a big lantern. And given the fact that it was on the banks of, of the Fox River in Plano, Illinois, by the way, um, yeah, you can just imagine every, every flying insect within a quarter of a mile was going to be trying to get in that place. Uh, so, yeah, it had its problems. However... It became an icon of the international style. It's been restored a couple times. It has come under the protection of the National Trust for Historic Preservation. It is open to the public as a museum. So, it sounds like Mies won this round. Hey, thanks for joining us today at the Frog Pond School of Design. I look forward to seeing you hanging around the pond again real soon.